has our yellow Protoss player um, playing for a team that I've not heard of. So he basically changed teams. But here he is in the bottom right corner on Deadwing. It is CPU. And his opponent playing as the blue Terran player for East Celta Gaming. It is Arctur. Yeah, so we'll have to uh, look and see if we can get a uh, roof later on. He is excellent. I definitely want to see him game. But uh, CPU, also not too shabby. So... Do hope that he actually makes it a little bit further. Uh, so it looks like IGEU doesn't have a team logo. That's not a good sign, CPU. You should look for your clans to actually have a little bit of a logo here. Oh, Grand C is watching. Dude, you got Twitch Turbo. Good for you. And uh, that's uh, pretty early gas. Coming out of Arctur. Interesting. Uh, gas before barracks. We're gonna see some uh, Reaper pressure here. But Deadwing is uh, pretty big, so I don't know. We'll have to see. Dude, Grand C, you did a um, pretty amazing job. CPU told me you're just gold. That that was uh, pretty insane for gold. I mean, I've not played in ages, so it looks like the um, the quality of play definitely has improved in the lower leagues. Probably won't get out of bronze now if I look at that play. There we go. CPU uh, going for a pretty early double gas, but only two workers in gas, so um, doesn't really show anything yet. There's the cybercore. Coming out as well, and so far not going for um, a defense zealot or anything like that. So I would expect him to just skip the zealot, go for the stalker instead. And there we go. Um, no reaper, but instead going straight for the reactor. Factory is on the way, so possibly hellion pressure. And I've not seen this in ages. If he's actually going for that, uh, would be pretty crazy. But there's an early scout coming out for CPU, so there's a decent chance that he'll actually realize what's happening and we'll have a little bit of time to react to it. But since he's not moving that probe and... no, he's still into workers and gas, so nothing crazy should be happening. Probably just lacking the skills to actually move his probe CPU, goddammit. Oh well. And there's the starport. So it's not gonna be Hellions, uh, probably gonna be a um, medevac drop, early medevac drop. Well there are Hellions coming up, but just not uh, reactor Hellions, so uh, would, see, would like to see some kind of medevac play. There we go, finally Arctur is also going for a scout, and let's see, CPU moving across the map with the Mothership Core and, his, uh, and a single Stalker, of course. Oh, the score lagging a little bit behind here. Oh, there we go. There it's coming in. And, ooh, nice job, Arctur. A little bit of a sneaky guy. Trying to get around the left side. Ooh, and the Stalker is caught out. But we see some decent micro coming out of Arctur. He should keep his Marines alive here. Good stutter step so far, but once that Mothership Core is actually in position, uh, he should move back. Oh, that's a single Marine down. Second one already in the yellow. We, he has a couple of Hellions up there. Not gonna do all that much against the Mothership Core though. So we should get rid of that Stalker first and then... Ooh. And there's the recall. Good reaction time for CPU and also Arctur not losing all that many Marines. But the um, whole thing is, this whole medevac shenanigans are scouted out. So CPU uh, can get in the defensive position, can gather up a little bit more energy, but it did cost him quite a bit of time here. So. Um, Time is money, my friend, and uh, CPU definitely needs that energy on his Mothership Core. Uh, just for defense right now. Oops, there's the pause for lag. Oh, an awful lot of players pausing tonight. Just for that weird reason. It's not me. It's definitely not me. I never cause lag. Actually, I did once, but that was a crazy game between... I think Stefano and... Possibly Todd? I don't know. It was pretty nuts though. Um, swarm hosts all over the place. 
go to about 50 something minutes. Uh, that was pretty nuts. So um, let's have a look at what Arctur is actually sending over here. Two Hellions, three Hellions, uh, Medivac with six Marines and an SCV that's actually being sent back. Test, test. Okay, looks like CPU is ready to go. Um, problem is, his Mothership Core doesn't have the energy uh, for the overcharge yet. So this Nexus is definitely in trouble. He needs to stall a little bit. Get a little bit, let a little bit more time pass. Two more gateways on the way. Um, Dark Shrine is coming in. That's why he actually did send that probe over there um, early on. But first, he needs to stop this onslaught. Three Hellions. That's not too bad. One of the Stalker is already quite low, losing all of its shields. Hellion does go down though. One more Hellion is left alive and actually harassing those drones. But it get rid of the Medivac. So it looks like CPU can actually defend this without losing all too much here. But did lose a couple of stock, a uh, couple of uh, probes at least. Those marines will go down. Ooh, kind of a blunder here for CPU. Could have kept that stalker alive, but that's not too bad. I mean, considering that he has that nexus up, he can go into all our probe production if he wants, and he still got that ace up his sleeve uh, in the form of a couple of DTs that should be coming out here pretty soon. So let's have a look at how much he actually lost here. Worker skilled six, but uh, he's still ahead in the worker game. Twenty-five workers, uh, considering we do have mules on the Terran side, comes out to pretty much even income. But there's the next, there's the next attack coming in, and this time CPU doesn't have any defense. He's gonna lose a lot of probes here. There's the recall, uh, the mothership, or was that a recall? Where did it actually come from? Was it rebuilt? I think it was rebuilt. And there we go, a couple of stalkers being walked in. At the same time, uh, the pylon has been discovered. And the Hellions, ooh, still doing some damage here. But the trap, no, they're not trapped. Could have used those workers to actually trap the Hellions. And now he doesn't have enough firepower to finally get rid of those Hellions. But Benji is coming in and Cloak is done. CPU right now doesn't have any detection. And Cloak not even activating. That Banshee has actually been done for quite some time, so he has a lot of energy on his hands. So let's see who's gonna kill his opponent first. Of course, keep in mind, DTs, they always, and I mean, are permanently cloaked, cloaked, so... Not the problem of energy running out. But then again, a single scan could get rid of all of the DTs at once. And he got rid of one, two... Third one is safe for now, but two Widow Mines are available for defense here for Arctur. He's actually not in the bad spot. And that Banshee still can't get rid of. Still can't get rid of that Banshee. He's going for the Robo now, but he already lost so many workers. Down to 16, that's uh, still more than his opponent. So these DTs, actually not too bad. But they're not gonna come to use much use uh, as of now. So if he can keep those workers alive, he's still in a good spot. 70 workers to 12. Uh, of course, Arctur can reproduce quite a, quite fast as well. And he is going for a CC now as well. And Arctur... 12 energy left on his Banshee and it's still doing damage. 18 kills. <laughs> That's a Captain Banshee. Oh, I think it's gonna make one more kill happen here. Will it? Nope, some good stutter step coming out of CPU. One more hit, and it should be gone! Wow, that was incredibly close. Gotta savor that Banshee, man. And, um, I wager that CPU is not gonna warp in any more DTs. Um, yeah, he is going. Oh, wow. Actually, the second Banshee did come in here. And, got one more kill, two more kills. Where is that observer? You need that observer CPU. Oh wow, well, 12 workers to 15. Finally Arctur managed to catch up and he has a decent army behind this. And by decent I mean 6 Widow Mines. What the heck. Have you ever seen this kind of composition going on? 4 Hellions, 4 Banshees, 6 Widow Mines? Uh, that's pretty crazy right there. But, um, his expansion did come into play. Uh, he is pretty safe against any more uh, DT harass if it's ever going to happen, which I highly doubt at this point uh, by CPU. 
So um, yeah, that, that's a pretty a big army marching over. Um, he's not going to be able to kill these next eye though. Um, of course, keep in mind, Widow Mines don't shoot buildings. So, well, maybe... Do they do splash damage against buildings? I think they might do splash against buildings. So if he shoots his own stuff, he might be able to kill it. But he still has Banshees available, and those are, I think, the last two remaining Stalkers here for CPU. And, oh, there's the Overcharge. He has a second Overcharge available as well. But not a lot of workers remaining. He did get... Wow. That is pretty insane. Those Widow Mines are already up to three kills each. And a couple more Widow Mines getting in there. There's the scan. Some nice uh, baiting out of shots, but I think this is pretty much it. Arctur just going nuts, and there's the GG.